Hello my friends, as you can see by the title, this is a long awaited update. It's been about six and a half months since I've done a weight loss update. That was only my, ooh, sorry, I don't know what, ooh, well, we'll talk about that in this video. <laughs> um, so essentially, um, I have lost about only 35 pounds in that time period to a lot of people that's like great uh, amazing but i've went through a lot of stuff and i'm going to talk about that in this video so um pretty much the week after i posted that video i ended up in the emergency room again severe pain the same thing that i was having and ended up having an emergency um gallbladder surgery um pretty much my pancreas became so inflamed that it was toxic and actually a lethal situation that they um uh, i literally could die because of the levels that i had and they came to find out that i had over 50 small gallstones and that's why i was going through the pain i was and the doctor um, my surgeon was not aware of how terrible my condition was because when I would have ultrasounds and stuff, they wouldn't even disclose that it was that terrible. So he would just keep saying, change your diet, keep losing weight, you know, um, this and that. And what, he wanted me to get my weight down a little bit more because it's always more safe to um, be a healthy weight or as healthy as possible to have surgery. Now, I wasn't... Um, I was obese, but wasn't uh, morbidly, morbidly obese, but it's still very dangerous. Um, and that was just his choice that he wanted me to lose weight. And I was losing weight at a good pace. So um, pretty much I wasn't allowed to work out all of December. Uh, I still lost weight at a slow rate. Um, and then part of January, it was very hard for me to get going again because of the healing in my abdominal muscles. Um, so I really have slowly gained, lost weight. Um, February, I went through a weight loss plateau and I've been in one for the last five weeks as well. Um, and not without trying. Nothing's changed. Um, you know, I'm still working out very hard and counting everything that I consume and it's very frustrating. So I thought it would be a, a good time to do this video because it's a very um, natural and common thing that weight loss plateaus happen. Although I'm now at almost 85 pounds lost, um, I thought I would have been a lot farther by now, but I have experienced, you know, a several plateaus, some for a month at a time, some for two weeks at a time that I've lost quite a bit of time that I could have hit my 100 pounds already, but that's okay because when you work hard for something, it means that much more. And um, I see the results. Just because the scale isn't moving, I'm losing crazy amount of inches um, around my bust, around my waist, around my legs, around my hips, um, in my arms. I can see it on my face. Um, I look younger and... Um, that's all that matters to me. I mean, I'm so thankful I've not gained 0.1 pound in a year. Um, so I know what to do to maintain and also to lose, um, which is very important to understand when you're going through weight loss, whether you want to lose 10 pounds or you want to lose 50 or even 100. Um, I still have a long way to go. Um, I have honestly about 60 pounds to go um, and even then I will be at the high end um, but it to me that's my goal um, it's not about the scale it's about your health how you feel and I'm focusing on becoming like a fit thick as I'm losing weight I'm noticing that my body is kind of thickening up in my thighs and I've lost weight in my back end um, but because my waist and the top part is slimming down it still looks big so I am very bottom heavy but um in a thick way I don't know if that makes sense I still have some of my stomach up here to lose um, I do have loose skin it's uh, part of the process I don't I have it in my legs um, my inner thighs and like on the top of my legs and my arms. I've always had big arms, but this is all part of the process. You burn the fat and then you tone up. So I'm not insecure in any way about my body. I'm very proud of the work that I put in. Um, pretty much uh, as of yesterday, I am upping the intensity of my workouts in hopes to really make my body work harder and start to burn fat again. Um, I'm 
attempting to try to eat the low end of the calories again, which I did last summer, which was 12 to 1300 calories. For a while I was doing 1500 to 1600, but when you start going through a plateau like that, you need to limit yourself a little bit, um, as much as possible. And, um, and burn um, at a fast rate and you'll drop weight considerably fast. You also need to be hydrating yourself and if you do choose so to eat something maybe that you normally don't such as french fries or maybe some Chinese fried Chinese food or something just chug a bunch of water. It allows a lot of that grease and toxins and bloat to get out of your body faster. Um, also, as women, we typically gain weight around the time we ovulate and also obviously around that time of the month. So there's only a good two weeks out of the month that I really ever try to weigh myself because you not only do you gain from the bloat and the water retention and whatever, your body kind of holds on to things at that time. So um, it could be deceiving as well. So I'm not somebody that weighs themselves all the time, but I'm going to start doing every week again instead of every month because if I would have known that I wasn't losing weight all last month earlier, I would have changed things faster. So maybe I would be losing now. But honestly, I'm really trying not to get down about it. I'm working so hard and um, like I said, I'm almost at 85 pounds. I've went down, I believe, six pant sizes, maybe more. Um, I've went down two to three shirt sizes, um, and they're loose, so maybe almost four. Um, it depends on the sizes. Um, I'm wearing some clothes that I haven't been able to wear in a long time or actually wear them the way they're supposed to be worn. And it has like a tunic shirt, but has a dress and belting things and showing off my curves. And um, I'm just feeling very good. So like I said, just because I didn't lose anything. Now, I know that I'm ovulating right now and I weighed myself yesterday. So I may have lost a few pounds in five weeks, but I should have lost 10, you know or more so um i don't know we'll see but i thought this was a good time like i said to do this video because this is just something that happens when you're on a long weight loss journey it's it's just a natural thing and hopefully when i update you next time which won't be in six and a half months hopefully in the next few months um I will have really good news for you that, you know, I've lost again and, and such. But if not, that's fine. I mean, I'm living a more healthy lifestyle. That's all that matters. I've taken so much weight off my body, off of my joints. Um, I have more energy. Uh, just my, I do have scoliosis, but my back pain, I really don't have much back pain anymore um, because I've lost so much weight from around my middle that was pulling down on my spine. So I'm telling you that when they tell you lose weight, you'll feel better. It's true. Um, I, n I was very lucky that I wasn't somebody that just couldn't literally do activities. I always could, even at my weight. Um, but I noticed a difference in my energy level, in my mood, in my sleep. Um, just in so many things. So this is a journey and I hope to continue to take you on my journey. Um, as long as I'm doing it, you're going to hear about it. And I haven't done um, a real talk video in a while. And I know that a lot of you follow me on Instagram, which is great. I haven't really been posting about it. I also don't post all the time about the meals I'm eating. Like right next to me, I literally just finished a meal and said, you know what? I'm going to do this. And, uh, I just had a little green salad, some steamed broccoli, and a piece of salmon, grilled salmon, and um, that's like 150 calories. That's it. And the piece of salmon is about this big, which is a uh, deck of cards, four ounces, which is um, a portion size for a protein. I had about eight florets, so probably about this much of broccoli, plenty. And then as much lettuce, you can have as much lettuce as you want. You just have to watch the dressing that you use. I also used a reduced fat feta just a tiny bit, and I use a low fat um, oil-based dressing. I use a lot of times like a fat-free or stuff. A lot of people say fat-free is terrible, this and that, but I try to watch my fats. If you're trying to burn fats, you shouldn't be ingesting a ton of fats, but good fats like olive oils, avocados, nuts, stuff like that, I do eat. Um, so yeah, so that is my update. I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling. Um, 
I know that a lot of you have mentioned, you know, and gave me compliments in my videos saying how good I look. I look so healthy. I've lost so much weight. I appreciate you guys noticing that and, and mentioning it because it just fuels me when people say that because I do not do this for anyone but myself. And um, it just is kind of an added reward when people, you know, compliment you for all the hard work that you're putting in for yourself in your life. So I love all you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.